Hello YouTube! Welcome back to the second part of the RPT tutorial series, Revisit. Again, this is in studio, and I really wish I would have found myself rec uh, that I wasn't recording earlier when I was like five minutes into the video. Ah, uh, fail. <laughs> Anyways, alright, now let's get started with the tutorial. So, in this tutorial, tutorial I'm going to show you start implementing a, like, a basic enemy that follows the player and has health. But does not damage the player because player will not have health, health uh, player stats, stuff like that. I may implement this one, but it, it will be in the next one for sure. If not in this one. Anyway, so let's get started. Alright, so, first start off with making a enemy sprite. I'll call this one SPL. I'm just gonna pretty much use this with like the intent of red. So, fade, fade. Perfect. Okay, good enough. Good enough just for testing purposes. Now, let's create another object and call this one. Oh, well. Uh, First, let's go ahead and call the uh, our player object OBJ player. And by the way, guys, if you have not guessed, this whole entire series is going to be on scripting, not on drag and drop. I do not like drag and drop. Drag and drop makes everything messy. So now, OBJ. I'm just, let's call our enemy object OBJ enemy. Now let's go ahead and do. Let's go add a create event, and this is where we're going to define our variables for our stats for the enemy. Let's call our health HP, and let's set that to, let's say, 10. And the max health HPTO, and let's set that to 10 as well. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and give the uh, enemy the sprite. <coughs> um, SPR enemy, also precise collision checking, and make sure it's full image ellipse. And, yeah. Now let's add some draw co a draw code to this. All right, add event, uh, add event draw and draw. Go he uh, add some code, and let's type for the first line. Let's do draw underscore self. This will actually draw our object, um, like our sprite for the object and everything. So it makes things a lot simpler rather than using the old way of draw sprite ext and having to do the like million <laughs> letters. Okay, now uh, anyways. Direction is equal to is equal to point direct er, darn it point direction x y obj player dot x obj player dot y actually let's do this up here as well player equals obj I'm sure player so let me just do this right here player dot x and Player dot y. Okay, now let's go to make so the um, enemy, if the player is within range, will uh, walk towards the player slowly. Wait, did we add move? I think we had added movement in the last video for the player, didn't we? Yes, we did. Good. Now let's make also let's make the player rotate a bit faster. Um, let's do direction plus equals um. Yeah, let's say 10. That ought to be a good enough speed for now. <clears throat> um, okay, anyway, so then right here, direction is equal to that. Then speed is equal... First, let's do speed is equal to zero. Then underscore distance is equal to point distant or distance x, y, uh, why don't we just copy this, right, these arguments up here and just put it down here? Yes, I'm a lazy coder. <sighs> Not really. <laughs> now, let's make it so if the distance is smaller than, let's say, 100 pixels, so if, actually, let's say 200, is smaller than 200 pixels, then the speed is equal to 5. And also, which reminds me, so make, the, make so the uh, uh, enemy rotates as well, image angle is equal to direction. And now uh, we have a working enemy. So also go ahead and add in the um, drawing the health bar for the enemy as well. So draw health bar x minus then quotations bright width slash two. Actually, you know what? Let's go. Actually, yeah. Minus sprite. Er, darn it. So uh, like this. I'm sure x is equal to x minus sprite x offset minus uh yeah 
one score y1 is equal to y minus sprite y off uh, y offset minus five underscore x2 is equal to underscore x1 plus sprite get width sprite index. And if you're wondering why I'm not using sprite underscore width, sprite underscore width actually returns the width of the um, player being drawn in pixels. So sprite width just derp things out. Whereas for if you use sprite get width, it gets the width of the sprite, not if, not the width of the pixels being drawn. So no. Then underscore y2 is equal to underscore y1 plus, um, let's say, 16. Or actually, let's say 5. So underscore x1, underscore y1, underscore x2, underscore y2. Oops, I put it there. And now, the amount, the amount um, argument. <coughs> This has to be a value between 0 and 100. The way you do that without our health, make our health dynamic, is you do HP slash HPTO times 100. And that will return a range between 0 and 100. <coughs> now back colors, do our back color of C underscore black. Minimum color, let's say C red and max color C red. Direction, let's put the direction at 0. I always, always leave it at 0. It's, yeah. Um, show back, let's say put that to true, and show border, put that to true. If show border is put to false, um, your health bar will actually be able to expand um, beyond its, uh, uh, I want to say its borders. Um, and show back, if that's not true, then this right here will absolutely mean nothing at all. It will not draw the background color. Ooh, what was that? No, okay. That's weird. Okay, that was weird. Am I actually lagging here? No, I'm not. Why in the world do they even say that? That was weird. Okay, anyways... Wait, how much RAM am I using right now? Yeah, okay, good. <coughs> ah, ah. Now we should have a working player. Let's make it... Or working enemy. Let's make it so when we click the enemy, mouse, left pressed, he will lose health, so HP minus equals 1. And do in here, if HP is smaller than or equal to 0, let's make it so, instant destroy. And that will make it so if the player enemy does not have enough health, he will die. Let's go ahead and add the enemy to the room. So objects, obj enemy, Eh, eh, eh. Oh, well, let's be within 200 pixels. That's fairly close. Um, in the next tutorial, I'm actually going to show you how to be able to make a shop person, or like an NPC, like rotate towards the player. Okay, hang on a second, guys. I'm going to get something to drink. Okay. Now the player... There's the enemies. They're, they're rotating towards me, as you can see. And now they're they're chasing me. Now let's make it so they uh, they get damaged. Blah, 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 blah. Dead. Yoink. Let me go up here. And dead. As easy as that. How far are we in in the uh, video? Eight minutes in. I think it's a good spot to stop. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and see you in the next video. I will be making the next video today as well. All right, guys. Adios.